In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a partial sketch which kind of blends with a photograph. It's a cool effect. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com. This week, I'm going to show you how to create a partial pencil sketch effect where reality is just kind of bursting through. So we're going to use a train for this. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed yet to Photoshop Cafe, hit that subscribe button and you'll get a new video from me every single week. And also hit that like button. So the first thing we're going to do is create the pencil sketch across the entire photo. And then from there, we're going to just kind of blend it in. So why don't we start? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the background. Control J or Command J will duplicate a layer. And now we want to turn it into black and white. So you can choose image adjustments. Desaturate is one way of doing it. Or use Command Shift U, that would be Control Shift U on Windows. And that converts it to black and white. Great, now we want to duplicate the layer again. Control J one more time, or you can click and drag into the new layer icon and that will create a duplicate. Now we want to invert this duplicate. So Control I, that's Command I on the Mac, will create an invert. So what we have right now is we have a black and white adjustment, then we've copied it and we've inverted it. Now we want to cancel it out and we can do that using a blend mode. So if we click where it says normal, you'll see the blend modes will appear and we're going to go down to the lighten area here and choose color dodge. You should see a white screen, maybe a little speckle here and there, but pretty just clear and blank. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a blur and that's going to create some separation and difference, which we're going to see. So let's choose filter blur. Choose the Gaussian blur and notice as we do this, as we change the amount of the blur, we're going to change the amount of the effect. And notice here we can get a pretty sketched, you know, just very, very finely etched, or we can go up to a very kind of almost photocopy look. So let's find it somewhere in between. So we're looking something that looks like a pencil sketch. I'm thinking in here somewhere is looking good. Let's just experiment a little bit more. That's looking good. And I think we'll just apply that. Click OK. Great. So what we want to do now is we want to put this effect onto its own layer. So we're going to select both of these layers. And what I did is I just clicked the Shift key and clicked to select them. And then just hit Control G. That would be Command G on Mac to put this into a new group. Excellent. Now all we need to do is create a layer mask. So just click where it says layer mask right here. You can see that that's our layer mask. Great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the top group for now. And I want to make a selection around the train to just kind of help. So go over to the toolbar and choose quick selection. And you should see object selection there as well. If you're using a older version of Photoshop, then you'll have to make that selection using the quick selection or other selection methods. Select the background layer, make sure we're working on the right layer, and then just make a marquee selection around the train. Release and it'll use Adobe Sensei, which is Adobe's AI, to make the selection. To add to that selection, hold down the shift key and just kind of click on some of these little areas that we want to add. If there's areas that you didn't want in there, you could hold down the Alt or the Option key to take them away from the selection. Let's add a little bit more in the back here. Great. And let's use the Alt or the Option key and just get rid of that little bit there. Great. Almost there. And if it's not perfect, don't worry, we can always fix this later. Great. So what we're going to do if this selection active, we're going to show our top layer again. 
and I'm going to click on that layer mask. Notice the selection is still active. So you can select from one layer and use that selection on other layers. And what we're going to do now is we're going to hit the D key to reset foreground background colors and then just tap the X key. And this will make the foreground black. Or you can just click inside that little swatch there. And then you can just choose black. Let's grab a brush. So hit the B key for brush. Make sure we're using somewhere. Where are we there about? Let's go a little bit bigger. That's fine. And we can turn the hardness all the way down. So it's a soft edge brush. Make sure that we're in normal blending mode. Opacity is set to 100 and the flow is set to 100. And I'm just going to make that brush a little bigger just by tapping the right bracket key and then just paint. And what we're doing now is we're painting in the train. And maybe just go a little bit. I'm going very light here. So you could drop your opacity down if you wanted. I'm using a pressure sensitive tablet here. I'm using a Wacom. So it's kind of easy for me to do that. But if you're not, just drop your opacity down. And then we're just kind of fading it. And let's hit Control D to turn off that selection. And we've essentially created that effect. Now, if you want to make it more perfect, you could zoom in nice and close, grab a brush, make it a small, small, small brush, and then just go around probably a harder edge brush is probably going to work better for this too. And just go around those edges and just paint in those areas. You know, you want to get it just nice and perfect. Let's do the hard edge brush. And notice what I'm doing, I'm just painting up here. You can use the selection tools as well if you want to just kind of help. And we're just kind of just cleaning it up a little bit, getting better edges. And there we go. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Let me know in the comments if this sparked any inspiration or gave you any ideas or you learned anything new. I'm really curious. And by the way, you can do the same thing with oil paint, all kinds of different effects and filters and different things like that. In this case, we're just using a pencil sketch effect. And uh, if you're new here, welcome to Photoshop Cafe. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You get a new tutorial from me every single week. If you guys like this, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.